The physician associate role has been increasingly gaining in popularity recently. Lots of students are deciding to study to become physician associates as it allows them to contribute to the healthcare system and practice medicine all the same. The role is becoming just as competitive as medical school entries as it allows a lot of people who couldn't get their first choice in medical school to still be able to study by the medical model and practice diagnosing and treating patients. Now the course has become very competitive as a result of this increase in applicants, which means you must put yourself ahead of everyone else by making sure you stand out when you receive an interview. Firstly, you should know that you're almost guaranteed an interview if you have a biomedical science background, at least a 2-1, some experience in a healthcare environment, such as working as a healthcare assistant, a hospital assistant, a support worker, or in a clinical setting, some strong GCSE results, although this isn't as important, as well as a strong personal statement. At the end of this video, I'm going to leave a pack that you can download as part of our Goopy.com Physician Associate interview pack, where there's a example personal statement that received an interview, as well as a few interview questions from some top PA schools that were actually asked to students during the past year. Now, the most common questions asked in a Physician Associate interview are usually asked following a presentation they asked you to deliver or a question specifically regarding the state of the healthcare system, or a question on the actual role as a physician associate. Some common questions include, what skills should a PA actually have? Well, the perfect way to answer this is just to break down the common skills of any healthcare worker. A draft answer can be something like, a PA should be able to handle stress. Being able to make good judgment calls in a timely fashion without buckling on the stress or getting nervous is an important skill for a physician associate to have. For example, if someone needs immediate medical attention, it would be absolutely imperative to not get nervous as this means you might end up making decisions based on emotions. Being a physician associate is all about evidence-based work and ensuring strict protocols are followed to make sure patient's needs are always met and the patient is always taken care of. A physician associate also needs to be an effective communicator, being able to talk to patients respectfully, being informative without being condescending, and interpersonal in order to allow the patient to feel comfortable and tell you all the necessary details about what they may be going through. Lastly, a physician associate needs to be compassionate and caring demonstrating commitment while upholding a patient's privacy and dignity as well as their wishes and having general compassion towards patient care. This is a very good answer and it will show that you are well read up on the skills that a PA should have. Another common interview question is why should you study the physician associate course rather than going on to studying a medicine degree? Well, this is a question that many students get trapped on because they didn't practice it, which is surprising because it's a reasonable question. The last thing you want to say is, I couldn't get into medicine, and therefore I'm applying to this instead. Even if that's the case, that shows a lack of judgment in terms of choosing something that you'll be good at and choosing something because you care about what you're contributing in terms of your medical efforts. An ideal answer may be this. Well, it's important to be able to study a course for the right reasons, and this is no exception. I chose to study for the Physician Associate course because I have a very high respect for patient care and a dedication to uphold patient dignity and the right to receive the highest quality of care. I believe that my skills combined with the right training, puts me in good stead to be able to excel in this role. Additionally, my passion for biology, as shown by my high aptitude for the degree, such as my biomedical science degree and my A-levels, shows that I have a dedication to the sciences and learning all that is required of me to deliver the highest quality of patient care. Now, of course, these are only a couple of questions that may come up. There are many more questions 
that could end up coming up in your interview. And to the students who wish to practice more interview questions, there's going to be a link in the description to our Physician Associate interview pack, which is a list of questions that have been asked in actual Physician Associate interviews and the ideal answers that you should memorize and give in the interview. Yes, you might think being rehearsed and memorized in an interview is a bad idea, but actually it shows that you are prepared and it actually reflects well on you and the fact that you might be able to do the physician associate course much easier than someone who comes into an interview and fumbles their answers a little bit. This interview pack also comes with further information about the physician associate program as well as a draft personal statement that received an offer. This is a great resource for anyone wanting to study the Physician Associate Program, so I highly recommend it to any aspiring students.